myself Santosh and currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft, taking training for KSR for the last five years. Well, uh, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. We are again back with a new video. Well, in this video, we'll focus on what is this Azure Data Factory? And the way the explanation is going to be is from very layman term and challenge me if you don't understand this topic now. Now, let's understand what is this Azure Data Factory? In order to make it clear, I'm going to break this words I mean the break the entire tool into three words. One is going to be Azure. Another one is going to be data and the other one is going to be factory. Let's move from right to left. We'll try to understand what is factory. Now when you focus on the factory, we all know what is factory. To keep an example, let's take out garment factory. Now most of our uh, parents or grandparents, if you have seen that they would have been working in factories in the village side or I would say towards a rural area side. They go to work and we call them as factory. So whenever we go right, you ask them what are you doing? They say that I'm working in factory. The same example I'm taking here. Imagine that we have a garment factory. Now what you have to take it from this slide is assume that you are getting a, a raw materials. It could be some a cloth, a very raw cloth and you're getting via through any vehicle and they are going to place it in your factory. And what are you going to do with this? A plain material it will go for the first stage whereas when I say first stage it is going for cutting like they will cut into a proper dimensions and once you have this in your place the next part is stitching so each one if you see all the uh, garment workers they'll be work working with a sewing machine and each one will be given a set of uh, clothes and they have to stitch it right now this is a main task I would say stitching. So this is where you're converting your raw materials into workable materials, right? You can wear that shirts or whatever they're stitching, right? It, it's set going to be ready. Now, is it going to be enough? Definitely not. You have to properly press it, organize it, arrange it, or I would say like based on size, you will group it. And finally, the last thing which you have to do is packing. The last thing which you have to do is packing. So once this packing is done, this is where it is entering the garments and this is where it is moving out of the garment. Just near the exit door, if you people stand, if you ask for any shirt or any garment, do you think you can buy it? Do you think you can buy it just outside your garment? Imagine that you want to buy some materials. Is it possible? 100% it is not possible. It has to again go back to the store. You can buy only from store, right? So this is a ideal functionality of a factory. You get the raw materials from outside, maybe from different company. And once you get into a garment, you will go through a multiple process, raw material, stitching, and then again, uh, arranging, pressing, and then goes to a packing. Once it is packed, you can never expect to buy near the gate not possible you have to buy in the store only so it will be transported to store with this example i'll add another word in just in front of factory and make it data factory there we were talking about a garment factory here we are going to talk about data factory very simple just replace those things with data well, now I'm getting the data from any tempo or any lorry there, but here we are going to get the data from linked service. Now, what is this linked service? Now, linked service is a, a connection that will be established between your source and your factory where you can get the data. And once you get the data, it will be in a very raw format. The data will be in a very raw format. Just we, as we discussed in the previous slide, everything is going to be in a very raw material. Now I'm going to organize it for that data cleaning, data modeling, data transformations are the three important steps. I will go through it. So just like you get the data, you uh, you get the material, you cut into pieces and you get, send it for sewing machine. And again, they'll go for uh, pressing and arranging. And again, at last they will go and pack it. The same thing is going to happen. And finally, you're going to clean the data and you will be again sending back to the target. Now, remember one thing in the entire data factory again imagine that this is an exit gate and this is an entry gate at any point of time you cannot access the data just outside your data factory not possible 
your data factory is not a storage right your garment factory is not a storage to store your garments it comes only in a raw material you're stitching it and you're sending it back similarly your data factory is also one thing which gets the data does the transformation and again sends back to the table again this has to go to some target table or target source you can access the cleaned data only from a, any of the storage layer just to outside your data factory you cannot access your data and that's what your data factory is we have already seen factory and now we are attaching data to that now data factory all in all you get the data you do the data cleaning do the data transformations and send it back to the target you receive it from source you send it back to the target 100 exactly the same meaning of what your garment factory is going to do and what is your data factory is going to do but where are we going to do this which place we are going to do this well this factory itself this data factory itself is situated in one of the cloud servers i'll add another word which is going to be azure data factory factory i know what needs to be done now data factory i know what we will be doing and where is this this is all going to be taking place within the cloud and one such cloud is Azure the entire process where we get the data in the form of a raw files do the data transformation and send it back all this we are doing within the cloud and that cloud is Azure well all in all this is all about Azure data factory when well, we are talking about all the layman terms now let's move to the a proper technical words and that is nothing but our components of Azure data factory well as I said this acts a main part in order to get the data from your source and it pulls the data into your Azure data factory and once you get it this acts like your data sets where it could be your raw data where you have to do all the transformations and here in the activities you have most of the transformations and we do have a power query transformations as well as data flow transformations all this will be very much helpful for all our data cleaning data transformations data modeling and at last if i want to automate it like exactly at eight o'clock the raw data comes in exactly at six o'clock you can go out and even if your factory you see right everything will be systemized right everything will be systematic uh, they'll ring a bell and only that time you can get the materials only when they ring the bell you can move out of the factory so we we'll have a time oriented time bounded well all in all this is also taken care by something called triggers where you can schedule when the pipeline or when the data flow has to be executed well this is all about ADF well in the upcoming playlist we will start seeing practically and we will be building one end-to-end -end project by using Azure Data Factory. With all, thank you so much. Please subscribe our channel if you have not to get our latest updates. Thank you.